<clears throat> How's it going, everybody? Bandy Wolf down here playing some more League of Legends today. Um, we are trying to get over debilitating losses that we suffered in our last promos. Um, <clears throat> it's the first ones that I've lost in this series, and let me tell you, they're, it's not easy to hit the suffer through those. Um, but we are going to go into this game with a little bit more oomph. We're going to go into it think, not thinking of those those games beforehand, um, and we are going to do good. We're against an Evelyn this game, um, which is pretty, honestly, to me, it's pretty easy unless the Evelyn's, like, very good. Um, Evelyn just, uh, perpetually at half health until basically she gets, like, level six or seven, um, because she doesn't clear very well. The, the thing that keeps her going is that passive that heals her as she goes into her, like, her pre-stealth mode, and it heals her up until about half, but, um, so, uh, we're invading, um, we got a, a Ramus, or, a, I'm sorry, not a Ramus flashback, so we got a, <coughs> a Rumble, that is, um, we got a, rum, a Rumble, we got a, a Annie that is, um, positive, that's always something good to see in games, positivity, um, that, that to me, that's much better than just flat-out mechanical skill, um, because you can always, um, uh, a lot of what you lose as you games is, um, just flat out tilting, so, um, we got these people, um, positivity, we're gonna steal her red, and we're going to, um, take this raptor camp, um, this is, like, if I have to invade, um, this isn't a bad, a way to <coughs> kind of get vision on the jungler, <coughs> we invade here, we get, um, a ward, I'm actually kind of hugging the ward itself because some junglers uh, like Evelyn, like she's going to be half when she comes around here. Um, some junglers you can sit there in that bush and they don't consider you actually, um, they don't think about you sitting there. So um, you can just have them face check you and then kill them pretty easily. Um, now I made a small mistake there. If you notice at the top of the screen, um, I could see the minions as they went through the wave, um, or, yeah, went through the lane, and that means that they actually probably could see me. Now, if somebody was looking on their mini-map, they could see my icon, so that kind of gave me away, but Silas isn't moving towards me, Timo's not moving towards me, so we should be good here, and I'm not too terribly afraid of Evelyn's, like, sticking power on me. She could kill me if she could stay on me, uh, but she won't be able to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. I have the, both the red buff and the, um, the bush above raptors awarded so there's no chance of her um, coming up on me so um, we just basically stole her entire top she should honestly if she saw me at all or had an inkling that I was there she would be in my bottom side <coughs> so I guess we'll see um, but you know and I communicated that in the game and I guess we'll see as we get along whether she took my camp so we're just gonna do a, a clear here um, there she is in mid I don't think she gets a kill here. Um, it looks like she was in my jungle. Um, like I said, we're just going to do a full clear here. We don't really have any opportunities. Teemo pushed up in too far. <coughs> um, and Annie is is gone. So I'm actually... I noticed that... I think that Evan only went in my bot. And I noticed that she left the lane and kind of catered towards my jungle. So I'm actually going to look. Um, and I pop my W to kind of get a vision. She, yes, she's right there. Either her or Silas, and the reason I back off is because it could be Silas and her. <coughs> That's the downside to Warwick's W, if you ever use it in that way, like, to scout, is you can kind of bait yourself because you can only see one blood pool. Um, so if they're smart, they'll group up in a bush, and they're just running and face tank, like, three of them and die. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to clear here. Um, she did take my red there, um, which was smart, but I've taken all of her top. And, um, now we're going to look, <coughs> um, I don't think that she gets <coughs> a kill here. We're kind of, we always want to think of, like, jungle as, like, a yin and yang type of thing. If you notice, like, a yin and yang has, uh, mostly black on one side with a small dot and mostly white on one side with a black dot. And you want to think of that as, like, the two jungle sides. So when you as one side see the jungler making a small play in one side um, you always want to look towards the other unless you can make it to that side of the map or make it to that play if you can't make it to that play 
you want to try to get something <coughs> big <coughs> on the other side. Excuse me. Um, so we're just going to... I thought I could push this in fast enough, but I can't. And now I feel kind of bad for taking all this guy's farm. Morgana is really pushing up. I'm just going to let her waste some of her mana on me. <coughs> I'm not really afraid of the damage that she can do. Um, unfortunately, Annie got killed here. Um, so we're just going to go hold this lane. Maybe get a kill on Silas. Um... But Evelyn is still there, so um, I was trying to flip around, um, but I may have have got myself into a bind here. Had to use my flash to get out. Um, this is a misplay. Honestly, this wasn't a bad play by Silas. He goes and takes my ulti there. Um, he's about to jump on me with my own ulti right there, um, but he completely missed, and then I popped my E and um, um, and killed him. <coughs> And then I proceeded to misplay myself because I honestly did not think that Evelyn could just kill me. Um, I don't think she had the damage uh, through my E and my Q. So um, that was my bad. But we need to back anyway, so we back and get our boots and Tiamat. We are looking kind of at where we want to go next because our our camps are our both sides of our jungle are kind of samey um except now i've just noticed that red buff is going to spawn before it was just the wolves and the cr uh, gromp versus the krug so almost the same thing we're going to try to sneak in here we were using morgana's um uh weakness her low health as a um as a uh way to get in there and actually like completely i should have just stayed on um <clears throat> on Varus, and just you, Morgana would have had to leave. I was trying to kill her, but she kited me out pretty well. But we did get, um, what is it, two kills versus our two, and it was on our carries, Annie and, um, and Jinx, so I guess that's okay. Um, <clears throat> um, so Silas is trying to, he's going to ult here, yeah. <clears throat> Damage. Um, we're going to try to hunt him down. But I think Annie gets in with Tibbs old here. So we're just trying to get in there. I think I back off. Or I either back off or I just flat out die here. Um, because Varus and... Um, yeah, yeah. I just flat out die here. They're all four here. Um, that's something you want to think about too. Is whenever you step across that line that's the river. You want to think about where everyone's at. Um... And we had just killed at bot lane, so we know they're walking back at this moment. So that was completely my fault. Could have been prevented, <clears throat> but um, it was the bloodlust. <clears throat> Okie dokie. We're going to see about maybe grabbing this dude. <clears throat> now I think we're just going to clear the wave. He's too far out. <coughs> Um, what are we doing here now? Sorry about the break. Just had to take a step away and um, make sure she was okay. We're looking, seeing top. Evelyn's ganking there. We got that pushed in. So we could probably go for this dragon um, because she's at top. And we have Annie on hand. <clears throat> so I think we are going to try. Yeah, we're going to try to gank here. And we can't grab Varus, but... So we killed Morgana. So we can get this dragon for free. <clears throat> and we got Smite ready. <clears throat> I don't think that there's any possibility that he can get this outside of me making a mistake. Like that, but... Um, So we are wanting to take care of this Varus. Um, we have got him in our sights. And there we go. <clears throat> not sure if I needed to ult either <coughs> or not. Um, but now we're going to push this wave in. 
Um, not really a whole lot Morgana can do to stop the wave from crashing into the tower, which is good. That's something you always, always, always want to, uh, to, uh, take advantage of is wave control. Um, you can watch a lot of solo Renekton only. Uh, he plays a lot of top lane and he, like, preaches that, like, pretty much 24-7 about controlling the lane where it's at. And, um, if it's pushed in there, um, they're not able to get the CS. Um, and, um, basically it's going... <clears throat> not going to use so I'm going to try to push this in I, I'm, I'm worried about it because um, Eve could come in and catch it the, the problem is, is when you push it in like this you want to make sure it hits the tower and the tower takes t starts taking shots at the wave the the cannon minions <clears throat> because if you don't and it stops like somewhere like right where Annie's pushing it's actually a bad position for her cause she's really far on the wave and she has to run farther back um, but uh, we go ahead and take care of this Evelyn, we get Annie the uh, double buffs, um, and then we she dies. Uh, I think if she would have just thrown her uh, her son out and ran, she might have lived with uh, red buff heals and everything. Now, like like I said, I'm pushing the wave in so that <coughs> Talus uh, does not. Now this is this is unfortunate here. I didn't know that uh, Varus. I'm waiting for the the ulti there. There it is. I didn't know that Varus was there too. I thought it was just Morgana, so I I was a little <clears throat> aggressive so unfortunately we got <clears throat> we got Varus the double buffs which is bad because he's kind of winning that lane <clears throat> um and um but it's fine uh, just a few kills here and there we still are doing just fine everywhere else um <clears throat> I'm gonna try Jinx just needed to get get out of that. <coughs> but now we've got Silas stuck here. And I think we'll be fine taking care of him. Okay, we're just trying to kite here for our abilities. Um... Um, but unfortunately, <coughs> the, the the target we wanted was uh, was Varus. Um, I wasn't too worried about Eve. Um, <coughs> she was probably the second um, priority there. But it was Varus that that we wanted to take care of because if we could get him, it would snowball the fight. Um, and we could have done that. I think. I think what my my misplay there is, I um, I thought that I could pick up the morgue just off my splash from Tiamat, so I was trying to, like, keep her in it with the, uh, fear from us, from my E, um, but she black shielded, um, <clears throat> and I thought she would black shield Varus, to be honest, so if I held that, I may have had enough autos to get my Q back up, to get the heal off of that, to go from there, I think I could have done that if I would have played it better, but we are just, that's fine, I'm, I'm really not worried, um, <clears throat> Because of, I'm not the only one that's doing things. We're getting plays from top, we're getting plays from mid. And we also have <coughs> a good team. Oh, we've got some CC, we've got some some uh, damage, we've got some tankiness. Um, so we're just going to jump on this, chain the CC... Um, and then use the Q to keep up with him. <clears throat> now we're kind of getting this uh, rolling effect where we keep coming back and killing each other. Um, which isn't great. Which isn't great, honestly. Now I'm going to go here and just try to, to set here with this, with this wave. Um, I can't really do anything. Uh, I may do something, I don't know. I'm... I'm trying to bait out the uh, the abilities here. I got one. Um, I got Morgana's. Um, I'm just trying to bait them out here. I wish I had ulti to take care of this, but um, we know Silas is top. We just saw him. We're going to take out this. I think somebody put their control ward somewhere else because it just disappeared. Um, once again, 
they're low, we've got our team back, so this is almost free. <clears throat> Once again, trying to bait out the abilities here, just to, um, so she can't CC me um, and stop me from smiting this, because that's what I need to do. Boom, we got it. Um, I don't think we should fight because of, um, we know that at least four are here, or at least three. I think Silas just walked into this bush, but I'm not positive. Yeah, it's Timo. It wasn't Silas. Um, so we took him out. Um, we're, we're trying to focus on Varus because he's the threat. Uh, but unfortunately, um, <clears throat> we don't have damage coming behind me, um, which is... Uh, it's not really anything that you could do. They were just trying to play safe while I was trying to go more aggressive. I think if I would have... I So I killed Eve So because if, she, if I had let her go, um, she would have left and then her passive would have got her back to uh, fighting. Uh, it's like half or something. <clears throat> um, and then uh, if I would have ulted on Varus instead of Teemo. Um, and I think she gets this kill, which is really uh, nice. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> <coughs> um, so, still haven't lost any towers, which is really getting worrisome. Uh, because whoever takes the first tower is probably going to snowball uh, just a little bit in the mid-game to get another tower or two, I think. Um, so we're just farming. Uh, we always want to... If there's nothing that we can do, uh, farming is <coughs> not the, the, it's a secondary priority, I guess I should say, unless you're behind on farm or something like that. You always want to throw farm in as like a, um, something to do when you're not doing anything else. Um, and you always want to like, <coughs> you never want to like look at yourself. You always want to be looking at the map, looking at what's going on. Um, we know that bot could make a play there because it's, uh, Eve, but then they're getting they're getting pincered, um, and now Jinx has got a reset, so that's really good. So she may get another kill here. Um, I'm trying to make a play up top myself. Um, I think I can handle this. This is um, combo ulti. I think he ults me at the same time that I ult him, but he's slightly first. So I mentioned before there's that <coughs> there's that kind of glitch. Um, with Warwick, um, where if you go to CC, you go to alt someone and they chain their like CC right, right, like pixel perfect after you, it actually um, goes off. And if you time it right, you can CC them. So I think that's what happened. Um, and I, honestly, even without, because um, he is, he does have my ulti, but I've got my passive on top of that. <clears throat> and um, I'm not sure what his rune is, but. Um, I've got lethal tempo, so, um, I really want to get this. I'm just kind of banking on the fact that they don't expect it. Um, Varus has been staying by all game, and I don't, <coughs> I don't expect him to come up here randomly. And, um, now I've got my team coming up to kind of zone him off, so I, I think this is free. The Rift Herald is really good for snowballing, um, into a, at least a tower if you put it down right. Um, so... Somehow, we got a Teemo just randomly. I don't know how that happened, but... Um, unfortunately, I don't know how that missed. I, th I thought that she hit me, but somehow she got it, like, right... Right on um, the pixel to, to not hit me. And, and we got a double kill. Um, I don't know the anti play, but it was it was unconventional and it actually worked. We've got somebody behind us that I don't notice is wrecking havoc behind us. Um, he stole my ulti, but he doesn't get away. Q followed him. We've got Rumble doing work there. We got Jinx <coughs> get a reset. Um, the anti play at, the, at first running through the tower was unconventional, but it, it actually kind of worked because it got Morgana to pop her ulti, and then I was able to ult in. I got the fear on top of him as Rumble put down his carpet, uh, which is his ultimate and does a ton of damage. And we got tons of value off of the Rift. Uh, the Rift Herald, if you if you trade Rift Herald for one tower, it's really good. But we just traded it for three towers and an inhibitor. 
Now, I expected Eve to try to flank like that, so I just kind of sat there uh, waiting for her to show up, and she didn't disappoint there. Um, there's not a lot that Eve players can do when you're bunched up like that, except flank, uh, like sit on the flanks and, and wait for people to back away. Um, as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not really worried about Eve herself. She has to get really fed to become a problem um, she, because late game, it's it's all about group play, and Eve can't really handle that unless she's super fed. So she'll look for uh, stragglers and, and picks and stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, most Eve players at this elo aren't that aren't that good. Um, um, so we stepped in team mushroom, so we know he they know we're down here. Not really worried. Um, come in and smite that. I was did all the work there. Um, I'm waiting to engage here. They backed off, basically. We got Silas up top, so we do want to push, do something while he's there. Um, and I think I'm, I'm just kind of farming, waiting for some kind of <coughs> sign of what we're doing. Um, we look like we were pushing top, or I'm sorry, mid, but Silas doesn't look like he is stopping. Um, I don't think that he is going to continue pushing on that second tier tower because of the pressure that they're putting in the mid. Um, I, I let him know to, to just be careful. I expect them to die 100%. I'm pretty sure they're going to die here. Um, so I just used their sacrifice to get more objectives. Um, that was my play, but they actually aren't doing bad. <clears throat> uh, Varus is kind of not... He was doing really well, but he's not getting in a position where he can he can do work because um, while our team is very good at um, not uh, like counter engaging and all this stuff, he can't really do a whole lot to get the poke in there besides his Q every once in a while. So I'm trying to uh, trying to zone here, and then I see Eve, and she thinks that we can't see her. I, well, at least I think she. I don't know what's going on because the control was there because she so she knew. Um, that we were there. I'm trying to find where she went. I thought her play was to move forward towards me when I ulted. Um, and that's what she did, but, um... So trying to flank here. Um, I'll, I'll hope my team will go in. I dodged the, the, uh, Morgana, uh, binding, and we go after this Teemo. I'm hoping my team's doing well, because I can't really go back in there, so I'm just gonna get myself... This Teemo's not getting away. I've got the movement speed on him, um, and I know where he's at. I was thinking he'd just stop in the bush, which would have been the best play, but, um, yeah, he was just gone. <clears throat> we won the fight besides our team. I was worried there when I saw Silas jump on <coughs> some, <coughs> someone, but we lived, and they surrendered. Um, so that's 96 LP, I think, and we are ready to win one more game for 4 LP to get to our promos again for Silver 1. So, keep watching, people. We're going to get there. <laughs>